Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another curated bead box. This is a $20 monthly subscription and I have a coupon code for you to get 35% off your first box. Use code AGERM35. I'm going to put the link to this subscription box down there below in the description bar. And I'm also going to put the coupon code down there below in the description bar. And I always get asked, Where's the description bar? YouTube changes it all the time. So down below the video, you will see more. And if you click that, it will expand, and there is the description bar. All right, so directly below this video, you'll see that. So the theme for this is Sunshine Lollipops, and it looks like there's some really awesome beads in here. There are some crystal beads right here. These here look amazing. I can't wait to see those. They look like they're electroplated, but I don't know until I open it. This orange strand looks like it's going to be amazing. And then over here, this pendant looks awesome. I love these beads. There are some crystal beads here. And this looks like it might be um, like a finished cord necklace. But anyways, if you're new to this subscription, right here are the names of everything in the box. And over here are codes. So if you want to reorder any of these things, you go to dollarbead.com and you put in the model numbers and you can reorder some of these items. Now, let's go ahead and open this. this. Stuff always looks better in person than it does in picture. Wow. Oh my gosh. This one here is so cute. Okay, I thought this was going to be the electroplated orange bead. I got one in the druzy look a long time back, but it's not. This is actually a painted bead, and that is so darn precious. It's really cute. I love that. And this here is adorable. I also really like this style of bead. That's pretty. Oh, we have the crystals. Wow. This one might be one of my faves. That's really gorgeous. Look at that. It's like a cranberry red, like a purplish red. And the blue makes it look all marbly. So that's awesome. Wow. This looks like pirate gold to me. Okay, I gotta jump this out. Oh my gosh. That kind of looks Art Nouveau. That is so, wow, it's solid. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, um, here's the kit of findings that they always give us. And close that. Wow, oh, those are amazing. Okay, I got it organized. This is a this is the cord I was talking about. Okay, um, biggest beads first, usually. So that's a ten. This is eight. This is ten. This is ten, I think. This is six. What a fun color mix! I'm digging it. This is eight. And I think that's it. Okay. Let's see. This is really cool. I like this a lot. There was one uh, design I did where I did red, turquoise, and orange. And I think purple. It was a donut pendant that I did. I'll throw a picture up. That was actually... There was actually like three different donut pendants that I made. I think three or four. Anyways, I tried different shaped donuts. I'll throw the other picture up of all of the ones that I made in that tutorial if you want to go see them. Alright, now, 10 millimeter orange blossom spray glass bead, 10.5. That's probably going to be this. The next thing is a pearl. Yeah, this is just so cool. Now, it is orange, but it's kind of peachy orange. So, I don't know how well you can see that. It looks darker on my camera. 
but it's really precious it, it makes me think of flamingos I don't know why so cute I really like this one yeah this is probably the prettiest one I have seen in that color I just think that it's so darn cute okay after that is this 10 millimeter strawberry red glass pearl bead 8 inch string this is a gorgeous shade of red I, I don't think I have this in my stash it's very beautiful it's not fire engine red it's darker reds that I love very very pretty and by the way I always get asked why I wear beaded rings I do have a tutorial for this ring I do not remember the name so I'll have to throw the picture up you can go and make this ring if you want to it has some of the most basic uh, shapes and sizes of beads so um you might have supplies to make that if you want to. Okay, is this next? 10 millimeter light turquoise crackle glass bead. Light. This is not light in color. This is dark. This actually looks like Capri Blue 8 inch string. This is gorgeous. I have not seen this color in uh, crackle beads. That's really, really pretty. It looks different on my camera. I don't know if it's my lighting. But, um, that's nice. I like that. Okay, and then, oh wow, and look at these two together. I didn't realize that. Look at the same exact blues in that strand. That's so pretty. Okay, after that, 8mm red spotted marble style glass bead. The word was spelled wrong and it threw me off. 10.5 inch string red. It must be this. Red spot, yeah, the next one's orange. Okay, red spotted marble style glass bead. This is so cute. I've got this this one here with the spots on it in different colors. And every time I get it, I love it. It's really, really pretty. It's so darn gorgeous. I love the blue in it because uh, it looks all marbled. Look at that. This one right here. That's really gorgeous. Awesome strand. Okay. After that, I mean, the, these two here, they just really look amazing together. I like this a lot. Okay, this one. 8mm orange spot marble style glass bead. This is... This is burnt orange, I would say. Yeah, I love burnt orange. You know what? This kind of reminds me of the beautiful Indian uh, clothes and jewelry. These colors together. They're really pretty. I'm going to have to take a picture of this box just because the color combinations are so gorgeous. I, I love it so much. And that's what I do. Well, I used to do it. Whenever I went to like a store, whenever I went shopping and I saw like a top with colors that I loved, I would take a picture of it because it was very inspirational. Okay, and then after that, six millimeter bright orange. What? Is this right? Okay, I skipped something. Eight millimeter lemon quartz gemstone bead, seven through eight inch string. Lemon quartz. I've never had this before. It is a very, very pale yellow color. Yeah, it's very pretty. It's very pretty. And then this. This is what I went to. 6mm bright orange team in school glass bead. What? 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 Like school bus yellow. But it says bright orange team in school glass bead. That's what it says. Okay. It sounds weird, but that's what it says. It's kind of also like, um, must, was it French's mustard yellow? It's very cool. I like it a lot. This is a very unusual color. Like, I don't see this very often. It, it's also kind of close to pumpkin orange, though. It's like, it's it's between a dark yellow, like mustard yellow, and pumpkin orange. It's very pretty. I think that's a very amazing color mix. Alrighty, after that is approximate one ounce apricot fluff designer glass bead mix. Fluff. It says that. Apricot fluff. 
It going to be this. I don't know. Let's see. i got to read the next one. Approximate bronze. So that would be this. And then... Gold column spacer bead. That would be this. And then... Blue faceted. Okay. Yes. And then the pendant. And then the cord. Okay. This is next. So this is approximate one ounce apricot fluff designer glass bead mix. Oh my gosh. Whoa. This bead. This bead is a uh, half drilled. Do you see that? The drill doesn't go through, the hole doesn't go all the way through. So um, they sell little, it's like a, a little ring with a peg that you stick in here and you glue it in. I would use E6000 glue. But um, the ones I have are really tiny for like pearls so I actually don't have anything that would go on this. But um, yeah, that's cool. You can also glue this onto things instead of just trying to put it onto a veil thing. And there's another one this too. And they are gorgeous. That is a beautiful color. Here's another one. And it looks like I got four of these. I think we're all going to get different amounts. I kind of wish they were beads though. Because I use beads more than stuff like that. And this. So in the picture there's like four beads with this. This is electroplate I think. Where to go? Oh here. See? One, two, three, four. Now it doesn't mean I'm going to get four. That's just the mix. But um, I kind of wish there was more of this one. Because I really, really, really like this. That is so pretty. The bead's actually white, but it has this permanent finish over it. This is kind of like the rainbow iris beads. Made kind of like that. Wow. This is gorgeous. Look at the hole. Nice big hole. That is a beautiful cube. Oh, wait a second. I just realized. Um, it's crystal clear in the middle, so this is actually a coating on here. But um, I, I think it's permanent. I don't think it comes off. It's like electroplate or something like that. Anyways, that is absolutely stunning. And then there's these. These have really huge holes. It's like a two millimeter hole. So that is pretty big. Those are cool. And then these. These are stunning. Wow. Holy cow. Huge holes. I bought beads like this a long time ago. Mine were smaller. I have an eight millimeter size and a rice shape size. And um, mine, I think, were like sapphire, light sapphire blue with a rainbow iris on them. And they're just gorgeous. I've hoarded them forever now. And then we have these two clear rondelles. So that is a neat mix. Okay. And then this here, approximate one ounce bronze electroplated, see, it says electroplated glass bead mix. So this is bronze, but you know, there's also the rainbow, there's purple iris, green iris, blue iris. Now I don't have my bead scooper thing because it's over there in my tray because I have been working on making a pair of earrings. I designed, I can't wait to show you guys the earrings I designed. They can also be a pendant. It's up to you what you want to do with them. So here we have, looks like, 10 millimeter faceted round glass beads. The bead is actually black to the middle there with the electric plate bronze coating. Holy cow, there's a lot in here. It's still going. That's a lot of beads. And then I separated all of them because I thought there might be three different kinds of beads here, but it looks like these are all bicones. Now, I gotta point out that these aren't the best quality, but they're not the worst quality. Because look at these holes. The holes are clean. They're not looking really sharp. I mean, there might be a couple that are sharp, but these are actually great to weave with. Now, you can't use these in everything to weave with. There's some things like, um, I don't know if I would consider this ring one of them. There's a lot of bicones in there. But there's some designs that are very picky. You have to have like exact, perfectly exact measured beads. Like, so, cause, like sometimes a bead 
could be like this here. It's like a Chinese bead. It could be like you're thinking it's 6 millimeter, but it could be like 5.5 millimeter or 6.4 millimeter. And that will throw off your design. But not all designs are like that. Some of them you have to have an exact size and some it really doesn't matter. But those are actually really nice quality. So if you want bike ones for weaving and you don't have a lot of money to spend, I would say these are pretty good. They're decent. But, if you do have some money to spend and you want some really good quality bike cones, I don't buy Swarovski because I can't afford them. I like to buy machine cut crystals from, oh no, what's the website? Crystals and Beads for Friends, I think? Yeah, these are Preciosa, but they're, they're pretty much just like those crystals, Preciosa crystals. Okay, is this next? Um... 18 by 8 millimeter. Wow, they're long. Gold column spacer bead. Five beads. These are just amazing. Oh my gosh. Why are they like... They remind me of a pirate. Pirate ship. Pirates of the Caribbean. I love those movies. Those are really cool. Look how cool those are. Those are awesome. And they do have large holes. You can actually put leather through here. You can crisscross leather through there if you wanted to do some kind of like a weaving design. Those are amazing. Okay, back into the back. Let's see. After this, it's 14 by 10 millimeter blue faceted bicon glass bead. Eight beads. This. Um, this is the same, that's not, those are, these are long bicons. This one here is more of a rice shape, but it has huge holes. I've got this bead before in another curated bead box. They're pretty darn nice. They do have sharp holes, but as long as you're using them on something really strong, even over leather, they're totally fine. This is a gorgeous color. It's blue gray I would say extremely sparkly they are nice quality like they don't have chips the ends aren't chipped if you know what I'm talking about but sometimes that just happens it beads banging around on each other those are cool okay cat wants in but she likes to run across my desk what is after this is it an awesome pendant I can't wait to check that out 50 millimeter, wow, that means it's two inches. Heart Birds Bronze Pendant. That's this here. Fun. It looks copper. Yes, it's totally copper. It's anti copper. At least to me it is. It makes me think of uh, Art Nouveau. That is so gorgeous. That's really, really pretty. It's very heavy. It's a solid piece. It's made really well. They have some really nice pendants on their site. That is so pretty. Alrighty, so after that is 16 inch black cord necklace with clasp and chain. This. You know, you can't alter this. Instead of just having the clasp here, you can actually get an extender chain. It doesn't have to be extender chain. Any chain you want. And you can, like, this is 16 inches. Right, that's probably from here to here. This is probably a, an extender. But let's say you want this longer. You can find any chain you want from your stash. Remove the clasp. Put a chain here on this side. And a chain here on this side. And then a clasp. And it's extending it. But it's also making, if you want it longer, like for me, I, I do not wear 16 inch necklaces. Um, yeah, you can alter that. And also, every time I ever get these um, like ready to go necklaces here, the jump rings are never closed properly on them. Do you see how that looks? It's it like some of y'all might be lined up. Like you would probably consider that okay, but to me um, 
that's not good enough. I want a better clothes, so I always go back and fix these little darn jump rings. Even when I buy, though, when I buy, like, finished jewelry, like, look how bad that one is. It's overlapping itself. And they're all pretty much like this, no matter where they come from. Anyways, whenever I buy finished jewelry, yard sale, thrift stores, wherever, I always fix the jump rings, and I fix the the loops, and I just, I go through the piece, and I just tidy it up a bit, because sometimes, if I'm keeping it and not taking it apart, sometimes they look a little crazy. Does anybody else do that? Because I do. Alrighty, this here is the findings kit. This comes with every box, in case you didn't know. And this one here is gold. There is memory wire for bracelets you can also make earrings out of this I like making earrings out of this I think um, what I did I don't know if I did a video on it um, you know how this is a, a ring right if you cut a whole circle out of this and then you cut it in half so you have half of a circle you make earrings with that you make a loop on one end, and then you put beads on, you feed the tail through the loop, and then you make a loop with the other end. I hope that makes sense. But that's what I have done several times with that wire in the past, but I don't think I've done a tutorial on it. This here is bead trimming wire, crimp beads, elastic cord, head pins, thick gauge head pins too, i got to say that. Earring findings, they call these fish hooks or shepherd's hooks. And this is jump rings. I also like to use these for spacer beads and lobster claw class. Alrighty, so this is it. Here's everything we are getting in this kit. And I really, or box, it's not a kit. I really like this color combination. It's very gorgeous. Super pretty. So this is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed the box opening. Remember, I'm going to leave a link for this box down there below in the description bar in case you want to go and get it and again if it's your first box you get 35% off the box you have to use coupon code AGERM35 alright so this is it thank you so much for watching please like this video leave me a comment subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos and follow me on my social media sites I'm on Instagram Pinterest and Twitter thanks for watching